Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have seen this challenge <laughs> floating around and I'm so nervous. It's where the I followed someone's makeup tutorial and you've already seen a thousand of them but this one is mine and I have a look that I've been wanting to try for like ever. So I decided to follow Kathleen Light's Blue Dream makeup tutorial because I have her palette which I've only reviewed. I haven't done any other looks with it on camera and I've been intending to do another one and I wanted to recreate that one so I figured why not just stick her video down here somewhere and try really hard to follow what she did step by step. So that's what we're going to do today. If you watch Kathleen, you know that she tends to do her eyes first. So that is why I have nothing on my face right now because I want to follow what she does as close as I can and I'm kind of trying to get some of my stuff ready because everything's just a jumbled up mess because I don't know what I'm doing so um I guess I'm just gonna turn on this tutorial and see what we can make happen so obviously I am gonna start with this palette and I'm going to use my E27 because I don't have the brushes she does. So I'm just going to use this one. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, so she's going into this one and just taking it on her big brush and blending it. And... This look takes a lot of crease work, a lot of mm. blending in the beginning. So I'm not good at this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So she just blends it into here. Is that right? That's what it looked like she did. Now I'm going to go back into the Okay, palette. so then she went into Elfish and she's just putting that like in the outer corner and in the crease. Okay, so she's just putting that like in the outer corner and all in the crease. And I feel like I'm so scared to pick up too much pigment, but she's getting hers really dark. So I'm going to get mine really dark. Okay, so now's Water Bearer. We're just going to take this and do the same thing. Ooh. Okay, so she's using ColourPop to do her cut crease. But I have Catrice and I do not have ColourPop. So... I took my ColourPop concealer. I'm going to go ahead and try to cut that. I'm going to crease and I'm not really taking it all the way towards the end. And then I'm just going to fill in my lip, well, fill my lid in with concealer. And then everywhere I applied the concealer. Okay, so now she's going in with Kaleidoscope. And I don't have a brush to use that with. So I'm just going to use my finger and press it in with that. Ooh, this color is so pretty. I haven't actually used this one yet. Okay, then she's going into this one the same way. I'm going to use this kind of brush for it. And just grab this and try to like pack it in between. Hold on. Okay, so she took this and like packed it to like halfway ish here. But I want to be sure that I have enough of it. Oh, how far do I pack it? We're going to go with here. Oh, why does hers look so gradient and mine looks like a line? 
Okay, so then she went back into here and deepened up that darker, that outer corner just a little bit. Hold on, hold on. So I'm just adding some more blue. Which is definitely something I need to do. Right now she's going in with that first color and blending out the edges of this. I don't know why mine looks so orange. Okay. Okay, then she's going into, I think this is Mooney right here. And putting that in her brow bone. So like right here. Ooh. That is pretty. Okay. Alright, then it's just... <clears throat> Makeup wipe time, and, then I took a makeup wipe and I'm very and glad and this is a step because I made all kinds of mess. Okay, so on the face, I don't have most of the same products, but I am going to start out with the same primer because I do have that, which I don't really like this primer, but that's okay. And I don't have either of these foundations, so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild. I know that, you know, she loves the affordable stuff too. And I don't have either of those. So we are just going to go in with these. And she's moving too fast for me again. I still don't like the Luminous Silk on its own, but I love it mixed in with other foundations. So this is the little cocktail I'm using today. I'll that out with my Love is the Foundation brush. Okay, and then I'm going to blend in with this crown brush because I don't have the one she uses. Then she goes in with the ColourPop, but again, all I have is Catrice. So I'm going to do... Oh, does she do all this? Oh, I think I already screwed up. Well, I'm pretty sure she does this. Uh, yeah, she does. Okay. And then blend that out with that same foundation brush. Okay, and then she sets with the Patrick Star Powder, which I don't have, so I'm just going to use Cody Airspun. And just set like all this up under here. I'm so excited. I love Patrick. I think he's awesome. Here. Powder. I think especially if you have oily skin because it is very mattifying. But even with my dry skin, I don't think it looks. Hold on. Okay, and I don't have a blue eyeliner and pencil, so I'm just gonna go in. I liked it. To finish up the eyes, I'm with this black one. We got in boxy charm. I love this eyeliner. I use it all the time. It's like the perfect. Blue. It looks so nice. Ooh, and she's got to slow down. Okay. Okay, so then we are back in the palette. And she went into this color. So I put that on my waterline and I tight with that as well. With a pencil and brush. Line, it's very quick. I just, and just, and just smoked it under star, here. Then some elfish. And then I went in with water bearer as well. Kind of and then elfish. I'm just smudging that on my lower left. Same thing. And then water bearer. Okay, um, then she took her, her little brush again and went back into Mooney and put it in the inner corner. Then she decided that wasn't enough, so she went into Flexitarian, which I do have. 
thankfully. And she put that in this inner corner. Ooh. Okay. Mascara, which I don't have, but I'm going to use their real mascara and just put that on my top lashes. I'm only applying a little bit of this because I'm going in with some falsies. These are the Camille number 16 Easy Lash Falsies. They're just falsies that go on the outer corners of your eyes. From here, I'm just like brushing. And my eyes are watering and I'm having all kinds of issues. So I'm skipping the falsies, guys. I'm really sorry. I just can't. This eye's going crazy. Okay, then she went in with like a little mascara. And I'm gonna go in like this and just barely make a line if I can. I think I did it. I can't tell because it's barely a lot. But we're going to go with I did it. Okay. <coughs> and she went into her bronzer. And I'm going to use Physician's Formula. And just bronze up the skin a little. I don't have a bronzer that's any darker because I'm so fair that I don't, I don't keep extra dark bronzers around. Because, I mean, I'm not going to use them. So... I just don't and she put a little bit on her nose okay and she put a little bit down here I don't know why but we're gonna go with it okay and then I don't have this blush either so I'm just gonna use a tart blush and try to be kind of light with it just to get a little bit of blush on and I don't have that highlighter either y'all I'm a fail I know so I'm gonna use flexitarian since that is what we used on our eyes Okay, and then she just put it on her cheeks, and she did put a little bit on the nose, and then I don't have that setting spray either, so I'm going to use this Gerard Cosmetics that I got yesterday that I showed y'all, and I'm going to use that to set with. Okay, and then she takes like a nude lippy, like a lippy pencil. I don't really have one of those. So I'm going to take my liquid cat suit that's like super nude and use it. And then I'm going to pop on my lip combo. This is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Whisper, one of my favorite nude colors ever. And then I'm going to pop on. And then I do have her gloss so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of moon child over this ultra glossy lip in the shade moon child and that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye okay and that is all she did so this is my final look. I'm sorry about the lashes, y'all. My eyes are just not going to cooperate with lashes today. But this is my take. I've never tried to do this look before, so this was just following along for the first time. And this is what we came out with. not 
the same as hers. <laughs> Y'all didn't follow her very well at all. But it's still like super pretty and came out like similar-ish. Like if you had seen that tutorial and you knew I used that palette, you could probably guess that's what I was trying to do. I don't know. Kathleen's style isn't so much different from mine. I just haven't quite mastered this whole gradient effect and she packs on a whole lot of color really quick and it still manages to blend out perfect and I don't know how to do that. But I'm learning, I'm learning. And you know my face is a little different because my products were different. But that's okay. Yeah, I really like this look. I actually think I might wear it again in a couple of days and you know when I'm going somewhere and not about to go take a shower and take it all off right now because I actually really like this and that primer actually acted a little bit better than usual today so yeah I think this was interesting I have never followed a Kathleen tutorial like step by step like that I usually follow Laura Lee so I wanted to try somebody that I don't follow in my usual videos but yeah that is it that is my little take on this challenge if y'all like this kind of thing I know some people really do uh, hit me up down there with a video you want to see me try to replicate and I can definitely do that um, most of the time a lot of my looks I tell y'all that I get inspiration from either other youtubers people on Pinterest Instagram you know whatever I don't usually come up with all of my looks though some of them are just random things that come into my mind just depends but uh, yeah, that is it for this video, y'all. Uh, I guess I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, you guys.